Good morning, everyone. I'm hoping my screen doesn't fog up again. Um, it is around 8 o'clock on Sunday, June 4th. So after the ghost tour, um, this is actually the second time this has happened, but I was not able to go out. If this damn screen falls up. I wasn't able to go out because I started feeling very sick. And um, like I mentioned before, this is the second time this has happened to me. I just feel an immense amount of pressure in like my abdominal area. Kind of like gas, I think, but not really. Cause I've never had much of an issue like expelling gas. I don't know if that's TMI for you guys, but you know what the fuck I mean. If there's so much pressure on like my right here, right here, and it hurts really, really, really bad. And I'm not able to do anything. I literally feel nauseous. I feel the pressure. I can't eat anything. I can't drink anything. Um, so that happened to me last night once we got back from the ghost tour and I could I was like I can't I can't go out like if I keep drinking I feel like I'm gonna explode it feels like I'm going to explode that's what it feels like so sorry the screen is fogging up you guys I don't know how to fix this it's so humid out here today so just take me in my smoky haze I guess okay I'm not quite sure what was happening with the immense amount of fog but I wiped my screen down like really well. I thought for, I thought maybe like water had gotten in it from the ghost tour yesterday and I was like, oh fuck. But it seems to be doing okay right now. So anywho, I can't remember where I left off, but long story short, I got sick last night. Couldn't go out to Bourbon Street with the rest of my family. So I was literally in bed by 10 o'clock and I think I woke up around like 7.30. I was starving. So I needed to go get some stuff from CVS anyway, like some toiletries. So I went there and then I stopped at this place called Daisy Dukes, which is actually right around the corner from our hotel. They're 24 hours. They do sell liquor. Um, they serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner all day. And I've been wanting to stop there and I just had some crawfish etouffee and I got a bowl of gumbo to go or a cup of gumbo to go. And the crawfish etouffee was delicious. Let me tell you, it had a nice amount of spice to it. Very flavorful. Highly recommend it. Like I was saying before, this Wyndham Garden Hotel on Barone is a really good location, you guys, if you want to come to New Orleans. I have not been in an Uber, except for coming from the airport to get here. Like we've literally been able to walk every single place because we are so close to everything. It's centrally located to every single thing. So I would highly recommend this hotel if you guys do come to New Orleans. Um, later today, we're go going to do a boat cruise with the family. So I'll be able to get some footage of that. Hoping I don't get this weird sickness again tonight. I think if it happens a third time, I should probably go to the doctor about it. I know that sounds weird coming from a nurse, but like, I, I know a lot of nurses who just don't like the doctor. Just don't, you know, where nurses make bad patients. Point blank period, like that's just how it is. But I think if this happens again, I might need to get something checked out because it's just very a very uncomfortable feeling. So I will talk to you guys when we go to the, uh, to the boat cruise. riding the RTA which is the fun little trolley over there or electric car or whatever you want to call it um, there's a red one and a green one I want to say I overheard him say the green one like takes you I hope you guys can hear me through bourbon or something like that but it's a dollar 25 to ride and it pretty much like takes you throughout the city to just figure out exactly where you want to go and figure out what color trolley you need to ride and throw that dollar 25 on there and get to exploring the city but both of those the green and the red were like right across the street from each other which is still two and a half three blocks away from our apart our apartment lord Jesus, our hotel
sounding noise, but that is the boat we're about to get on. It literally looks like one big steamboat. It's called the Natchez, and we are going on like a blues uh, boat tour. So I'm pretty sure they had um, an offer for lunch as well, which is about $48 a person, and it's just like a, an afternoon lunch and cruise tour. Um, but you have to make reservations for it, and we made the reservations pretty late. So we're just doing the tour itself. I'm assuming they have liquor on here. I'm not 100% sure, but I will let you guys know. And like I said, you can take the RTA for $1.25, get off at Harris Casino slash hotel, and walk on over here. So we will let you guys know how it is. Not included, but you can buy drinks, you can buy snacks, decent oh, prices. Way. Oh, by the way, I had my very first Bloody Mary. Therese had her first Bloody Mary. And I had nachos. <laughs> so we actually just finished retaking our group photo because my family is very extra. The Natchez on the side of the boat was cut off in the picture. <laughs> family demanded that we retake the Seriously. picture. Seriously. So, the so we retook the picture at the very end. They had to pull out the props and everything. So anywho, it wouldn't be my family if they weren't extra. So. But I think now we're going to walk and kind of just gallivant around the area of the river walk and probably hit up birds. Look at these fools. Oh, 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 oh,